Hello. Today we're going to take a look at the Sig Sauer X10 10 millimeter. Uh, and I was very lucky to find one of these. They're fairly new to the market and they're really hard to find. So, and I want to start off with this is what comes in the box. Not a whole lot. It was $850 for the gun and you get one spare mag and a lock. No interchangeable back straps or anything. No frills. So you get the gun and you get an extra mag and a lock. But besides that, we have the gun. And let's get a weight. Uh, that's something that I noticed about this right away when you pick it up is it is front heavy. So, make sure everything's unloaded. So, it's 33 ounces, which is pretty heavy for it, for a 10 millimeter. And the trigger pull on it, which the trigger is actually really nice. So, the trigger pull, we got 4 pounds, 11 ounces, which is pretty light for you know this type of gun actually that's what i'm going to start with that because that's something that when you first go to shoot it now the other 320s i've uh looked into getting a 320 in the past and i ended up getting a walther ppq because the 320 trigger i didn't like so but this this one the trigger is incredible on it it's a, it's got a super smooth feel to it. It's fairly short. The reset is nice and short. So um, other than it being a flat face trigger, it's I, I absolutely love the trigger on this. So real short pull, nice let off, and then it's a short reset. So the trigger on this is incredible. If if they did this for all the SIGs. I'd buy a lot more SIGs. But uh, one of the reasons why I don't buy a lot of the SIGs is, like I said, this was $850. And all it does is come with two mags and a lock, which the lock I don't care about because I put it in a gun safe. Um, they're two 15-round mags. Um, finding them are going to be kind of hard to find. And the problem I have with SIG mags are... They are expensive. My uh, P220 cost $50 a mag. So that's one downside to uh, SIGs. They make a great gun, but they're very expensive. Um, so the handle, uh, well, this is a five inch barrel. So let's compare it to here's a Glock 20. And as you can see, the barrel is a little bit longer. But other than that, the size of the gun is pretty much the same. It's just a longer barrel. And it's cut for optics. And they've got what they call x-ray sights. So I know it's kind of hard to see. But they're um, night sights. And they got a nice big sight in the front. And the little so sights in the back. And the three dot sights. And uh, this is one of the three dot sights that I probably like. Because... It has a big one in the front and little ones in the back. So it's kind of nice. You can you can clearly see which one's the front one. So uh, the mag's swappable. You can swap it out. And notches on both sides. The grip um, doesn't come with any kind of adjustable things. You have to basically change out the whole uh, handle for the uh, change the grip. But this is a, a really nice feel to it. SIG does a really good job on its ergonomics. So I have to say I, I do like it and I probably wouldn't change it out. But I mean, it's it feels like the size of a 9mm. So it's a little bit smaller than most other guns. Where, um, well, this is a the 10mm. So you can kind of see if you compare the size. This This is a lot bigger than this. So, 
and this is with no back strap so it would go a lot bigger this is nice and small this feels like it's a nine millimeter sized hand grip so for me it's nice if you've got big hands you may not like it as much but for me it's great and then the um, controls you've got the slide stop there's no safeties on it there's not even a, a safety on the trigger which i, I was kind of surprised it's just got this straight flat trigger and then it's got the ambidextrous um slide releases so uh and it's got a full pick you know pick a tiddly rail so um front serrations back serrations they're very nice like I said, the guns, it feels front heavy. That was the first thing that I noticed. Uh, longer barrel and stuff. So, But let's take it out to the range and see how it does. So today we're going to look at the um, SIG P320 X10. So Now, you can't really put it when you have 15 rounds. You can't put the clip in. So you gotta lock it back. So it's kind of a 14 round, but we'll see how it shoots. Work flawless. Put another 15 rounds through it. Works flawless. So it's a sick. P320 X10 model by six hour. So at, out on the range, you can see that it did flawless. So I am very happy that I, I didn't have the problems like I did with the Smith & Wesson 10 millimeter. This one worked absolutely flawless. Um, the one thing that is kind of unusual, it's a 15 round mag, but it's a, almost impossible to get the 15 round in so when you put the the round in you you can't put it in the gun it's like you can't jam it up enough so i would say that even though the mag's 15 rounds you don't get the 15 plus one you really get a um 14 plus one round mag because trying to put it in with the full clip it's it's really hard it, i couldn't get it in there um, I've seen other people have problems with it, so it's one of the issues that, um, it's probably not an issue, but if you wanted to have the extra round, you're probably not going to get it in there. So, um, let's take it apart. Taking it apart is typical, uh, SIG style. You lock it back, make sure it's empty, make sure the mag's out, and then you flip the, uh, lever, and then, and that's it. Yeah, you know, you didn't even have to pull the trigger. And then you get the spring comes out in the barrel. And you can see how well uh, it's all greased up. I, I literally took it out of the box and fired it. It didn't do anything. So the fact that it worked perfect is nice because that's the way it should be. So and then you just put the barrel back in the slide. And then you slide it back on. Lock it back, hit the lever, and you're all set to go. Um, I, I found it very pleasant to shoot. The recoil was, was almost nothing on it. Um, the accuracy was really good. The, uh, SIG is notorious for having you know, good, accurate guns, well-made guns. They're just a little pricey. Uh, this is what I was shooting. It's nothing fancy. It's 180 grain. You know, um, round nose, whatever, flat nose. But it worked flawless in it. Put two mags through the the gun, and everything worked great. So um, I have to say, 
This is a very impressive gun. A little pricey for $850. But when you think about it, now a Glock like this, the Glock 20 goes for uh, $600. So is this worth $250 more? Well, this comes with the optics cut. Now Glock charges like $100 for that. And this comes with the uh, night sights on it. And this is more of a, you know, the trigger and stuff is definitely more for um, a competition style than just a regular everyday um, shooter. So I, I would probably say that for 250 extra and you get the, the optics cut in the night sights, it's probably worth it. It's definitely a good made gun. So, you, yeah, I would say it's worth the $250 more to get it. Um, and it does shoot very nice. I was very impressed. It's a nice, smooth shooter. So, um, I would say it's a, it's a nice gun. If you're looking to get into a 10 millimeter and want something different from the Glock, you can get one of these and you'd probably be very happy with it. So um, I thank you for watching and hope you have a good night.